If This Then That is a powerful tool to automate cross-syndication of your social media updates, archive and save content you publish to your cloud accounts like Dropbox and Evernote, and hack together all sorts of ways to help you streamline your workflow. This is my dashboard, showcasing all of my If This Then That automated tasks. As you can see, I have 15 active tasks. On the channel page, you see all the available places to create your tasks from. Let's take a look at some of the tasks I have set up. A good example of the unique ways you can use If This Then That is the If Talk Then SMS task I've set up. This allows me to send a chat to the If This Then That Gchat bot. I have it configured so that whenever I send a chat to the bot, it will send that chat to me as a text message. I use this mostly to send myself links to Google Map directions. So before I leave the house, I chat the bot my Google Maps link so that when I'm on the go, I can easily open up the text on my iPhone and click on the link. This seamlessly loads the directions in my Google Maps on my iPhone. I also use If This Then That to archive and save content I post to my social media profiles. I have a series of tasks set up so that the content I share is automatically saved to my Dropbox and Evernote accounts. These are my Dropbox tasks, and these are my Evernote tasks. First, I'll show you how the tasks I've set up work in Dropbox. Facebook, Flickr, and Instagram images I've shared are automatically archived to my Dropbox. This is what it looks like in my Dropbox account. A special If This Then That folder is created, and within it are Facebook, Flickr, and Instagram subfolders. When I post images to these accounts, in a matter of minutes, they're automatically saved within these folders. And in Evernote, I've set up tasks so that all my Twitter, Tumblr, and blog posts are archived within folders in my Evernote account. The full text of my posts, plus links back to the original posts, are saved as individual notes in their designated folder. Let's walk through the process of creating a task. As an example, let's say I want to automatically push tweets I publish on Twitter to also post on my LinkedIn profile. I select If Twitter, and now I have several trigger options to choose from. I can push all my tweets to LinkedIn, or only tweets that include a particular hashtag, or only tweets with links, or any of these other options. I'm going to select new tweet with a hashtag. Here I set the hashtag I will have to include in my tweets in order to trigger the task for them to be pushed as an update on my LinkedIn profile. Now I select LinkedIn as a channel I would like to automate. Select Create Status Update, and here you can edit how the post is displayed on LinkedIn. Add-ins give you options to modify how your tasks will be executed. You can publish the tweet text exactly as you posted it on Twitter, or you can edit out the in hashtag, which is how it's configured here. And you can also modify the task so that just the URL within the tweet is published. You can include a link to the tweet, etc. You can include multiple add-in modifications to your task. For example, I can say I want to post the tweet with no hashtag and include a link to the original tweet. To complete the task, give it a description. The recipes page showcases filters created by other users. This is a great place to start because it will give you ideas as to what kind of tasks you can set up for yourself. You can click to review a filter, and if you like it, duplicate it for yourself. In this case, you select which weather condition you would like to be notified about, the email address you would like the notification to be sent to, and the subject line text. I would also like in the body of my email to include more details about the weather. So I'm going to add in the high and low temperatures, as well as a link to the full forecast. Click Create Task, and now the task is active on my task list. You can automate so many useful tasks with If This Then That. It helps streamline your workflow and save you time. Now go create an account and set up some tasks. It will amaze you all the things it can do.